My three children attend a Montessori school. And recently, a fellow parent told me of her own bright, engaged, inquisitive son who had attended Montessori for a few years until a job loss in the family forced her to enroll him in a nearby, free, conventional public school. As she picked him up from his new bus stop, day after day, she began to notice something. She said, I saw the light in his eyes dimming. His flame was extinguishing. She didn't talk about her son's grades at the new school, nor about the teacher qualifications, class size, or extracurricular activities. She didn't talk about how he would compete with China or increase our GDP. She talked about the flame inside him, dimming, extinguishing. To me, the fanning of this inner flame, the inner drive to learn and to develop, is the core contrast between Montessori schools and conventional schools. Conventional schools assume children need incentives for learning. Gold stars, A's, honor roll ribbons, popcorn parties. If they don't respond, they must be dealt punishments. Bad grades, trips to the principal's office, etc. Montessori schools assume the opposite. Children do not need to be forced to learn. In fact, children are naturally interested in learning. Take a look at any child prior to kindergarten. They touch everything, pick it up, turn it over, taste it. Prior to setting foot in that first classroom, they've learned how to stand, walk, swim, sing, count, ride a bike, tell stories and jokes and lies. Some can even read. And then these energetic, engaged, accomplished six-year-olds turn into 12-year-olds who ask, are we getting graded on this? Or is this going to be on the test? That flame they had at age six didn't burn out on its own. We smothered it. In contrast, Montessori schools stoke that flame by promoting hands-on, self-paced, collaborative, challenging, and joyful learning. They encourage divergent thinking instead of convergent thinking. Innovation instead of standardization. Montessori does all this with no grades, no tests, no homework. How? Well, out of many reasons, here are two. Mixed-age classrooms. Montessori classrooms have three-year age ranges. Three to six-year-olds in one class, six to nine-year-olds in another, and so on. The age mix allows older students to be leaders, mentors, and to help teach lessons while younger students have the experience of working with older classmates. The teacher does not stand at the front delivering the same information to 30 children while trying to keep all of them on the same page. Instead, the teacher moves around the room working with students one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. The age mix allows a child working on, for example, addition, to sit near another student working on multiplication. Each can see not only what they'll be doing in the near future and where they've been in the past, but why they're learning what they're learning and how it fits into the big picture. Seeing the big picture allows students to take ownership of their learning, a critical element in fostering each child's natural learning desire. Which leads to point two, grabbing that student's interest while it's hot. A Montessori teacher told me about an eight-year-old girl in her class interested in long division. After demonstrating some examples, the teacher watched the girl create her own simple division problem. But after finding the quotient, the girl added another digit to the dividend, and another, and continued the calculation into the hundreds, thousands, then ten thousands, hundred thousands, then millions, billions, trillions. As the calculations began to near the bottom of the page, the teacher, thinking quickly, brought over more paper and some tape. Hours later, when the girl decided she was done, there were so many sheets of paper taped to each other that when the teacher taped the first one to the ceiling, the last one hung all the way to the floor. Children in Montessori follow their interests wherever that passion leads, however quickly it leads them, regardless of what other students in the class are working on. Can you imagine this little girl having any problem whatsoever with calculus in high school? when she already does ceiling-to-floor long division problems at age eight. 
Can you imagine the look in her eyes when her mom picks her up from school? Montessori is the best method of schooling I have found for children to joyfully and effectively learn independence, responsibility, self-discipline, leadership, initiative, strong academics, and a lifetime love of learning. I urge you to visit a Montessori classroom to see for yourself. Sit in a class for 30 minutes. See the light in the children's eyes.